Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Okay, let's update our view on the gold market. Welcome back. So, uh, if you remember, in the weekend we said that in general this action seems rather strong, and it really might be the continuation of this action. This market just touched the confluence on the weekly chart. It's just a 30% support. But at the same time, market stands in the points where potentially the downside ABC action is still possible. So we do not see yet the solid acceleration and might be a bit deep retracement besides uh currently actually the situation stands in the, the same as in the euro currency it's a bit tricky because if you'll take a look at the gold futures you will see that market is flirting with the may city and if it will close today slightly below we could get the rubber suggest downside performance on the gold market this first moment this tricky moment that exists on the gold market right now at the same time, alternatively, I would say that on the dollar index is the same as we talked today about uh, this same issue on the, on the euro currency has really bullish potential for the gold because as you can see it's already dropped below the 1618 extension of this ABCD pattern, dropped below the confluence, market is not that ever sold, and actually it has the free space until one, one or two fifty area. So drop of the dollar index is potentially bullish mar bullish factor for the gold which should uh, and could really push it higher and just take off the table all the questions concerning the two leg retracement. And here's we see a bit uh, tricky moment between the performance on the door and between the performance gold itself and the potential grabber that might be formed by today close. So from that standpoint, I think that, well, why we need to just gambling and take this risk if we, by the end of the day, we could see clearly whether the trend will turn bullish or we will get the grabber. From that standpoint, I would just wait a bit and see what will happen. On uh, other time frames, we'll take a look on the forward time frame chart. Market still struggling with this consolidation, and it's uh, as not broken out of this area, it's showing some pullback here. While on the hourly chart, our guardian stipple to sell his work, so this was the 30% pullback, and. Here is we could see straightforward strong action. Downside retracement was just the ABCD. So our hand shoulders that we talked about more or less has worked. Uh, and here actually another tricky moment than the second moment. The take a look that slightly above the market stands the OP target. It's 1998, 1999, 1000, we could say it. This is OP with this reverse hand and shoulders patch that has not been tested yet. And that could happen that performance of the code will be not the straightforward to the new tops. But market could just complete the OP taken out of this top and then start the major retracement, some, some pullback. So this is the tricky moment exists all, also with this uncompleted the OP. So I would say that on the gold market overall situation stands not very simple for trading. This type of action currently I wouldn't consider for taking the short position. It's just because this is fast for reversal. Second, the reaction on this guardless chip will to sell, which is, was really significant, was very small, just to the minimum target of this patient, 30% support. And then market turns up again. So based on this performance, currently, we do not know what will happen with the grabber on the daily chart, but performance on the intraday charts doesn't look bearish. And in the current circumstances with this performance, it seems, well, at least based on the swings that we see, the pace of the upper performance it seems more stand in favor of the possible touching of the OP rather than in favor of the direct downside acceleration. So that's what we see currently on intraday charts. That's why if you'd like to take the scalp short position to make the bet on some pullback on retracement on the gold, currently it seems a bit too risky uh, in the current moment. Maybe it makes sense to wait at least for the OP and see what will happen and then make a decision. If it will be some kind of the washing rinse of this top market, then just shows the sharp reversal downside pullback that will be at least something something that could be considered um, if market will just keep going higher and no questions will be concerned in taking the short position 
Uh, well, uh, speaking about the long position, theoretically it might be considered, but I do not like the chance of the appearing of the grubber. So only if you trade on intraday charts, theoretically you could try to just this is 30% retracement, trying to make the pattern possible OP. But once again, um, where you place your stop, you should calculate risk reward ratio and it has to be greater than one to make this trade attractive. So if you will not find the placement for your stop, that will give you this ratio. This trade to the OP will be also not very attractive. So in the current situation in the gold market, with, the, with all these tricky moments that we have, I prefer to wait one, two sessions and see what will happen.